everyone so today i am here with you for a very interesting topic as a lot of you would be following shark tank very closely i wanted to do a very small discussion on um, game theory related to shark tank and i want you to go ahead and i want you to analyze this situation on your own so if you would know this was uh, one of the deals made uh, between uh, the owner of janitri and uh, between um, you know uh, the shark namita and the question uh, you know uh, they were into a battle with uh, with another sharks like piyush bansal right and uh, the question that arised was what's the exact deal that was given to him so the deal that was offered by the shark was that you know if you go ahead and you make a particular business the business is going to be worth 20 crore or more then in that case i'm going to go ahead and keep my equity holding at 2.5% but if you go ahead and you're not able to make this much of a business then i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to increase my utility against the money that i'm give uh, my equity against the money i'm paying you and that is going to be at 5% so can we go ahead and can we apply game theory to this can we really go ahead and see how game theory comes into picture and how uh, you know we can go ahead and uh, apply the daily concepts that we use here so this is what i wanted to discuss so in order to go ahead and discuss that with you let's say that let's say that let's let's ask if this is going to be a nash equilibrium or not so just think about this okay see if he earns more than 20 crore then the the equity is going to remain at 2.5% for the shark less than 20 crore the equity is going to increase to 5% but usually why do you have sharks in place you have sharks in place to increase your business so when i when i approach a shark and when i go ahead and i ask them to join my business my aim is to go ahead and increase the business that is why i've asked her to go ahead and join my business but if my business increases her equity decreases to 2.5% so this is a classic problem of finding that whether it is going to attain a nash equilibrium or not and what is going to be the nash equilibrium in this case so here in this particular case what we see is that there is a dis there should be a disincentive from the shark to go ahead and just from game theory perspective i am saying not what happen i mean if she if she increases the business or not but from our game theory perspective she would be disincentivized to go ahead and increase the business because increasing the business would decrease her equity in the business right although it may increase in the absolute number the amount that he that she is going to withdraw later on from the business so such deals are can be linked to what we call as the prisoner's dilemma what is best for her was if there was no such deal like what happens if the business does well and what happens when the business does not do well and if she would have got a fixed share of 5% irrespective of how the business did in that case her entire incentive would have been to increase the business and to get major you know major proportion um for the investment that she has done major results for the investment that she has done but because of the game played by the other sharks because there also game theory was involved a bargaining game was involved we saw that she ended up in a deal like this and with a deal like this you always have a disincentive if you if you allow the business to grow more you will have a lower 
share of equity in the business. So this is a small example where we can see how game theory plays around in the real life. Okay, thank you.